Okay, so I've decided to mount the spare tire on the back of the trailer on this ram door. I just couldn't find a good spot for it, you know. I don't feel like uh, crawling underneath the trailer on the hot asphalt to get the spare tire off if I need to, you know. So I figured to, to mount it where it's going to be accessible. So I made this uh, mount from metal that I had laying around. So, get a better view. So I'm going to do uh, self tappers in these uh, little tabs and I'm going to run bolts all the way through in these holes. I put some uh, double sided tape, 3M double sided tape. This stuff is really good used uh, in automotive uh, applications. So that's going to give me a better seal where I run the screws and bolts and uh, plus it's it's pretty sticky so it's gonna hopefully stick to the surface of it too Okay, all the holes are lined up and uh, I'm just gonna peel this uh, adhesive backing off and make sure it sticks. As you can see, I pre-peeled the corners. So hopefully it's gonna work. This part. There we go. So one of the main reasons I put that adhesive tape in the back is uh, to create a seal too. When I run the screws, it squishes the uh, tape and kind of creates a seal. So I don't think the water will get in there. I might uh, run a little bit of sealant around the screw too after everything is done. But yeah, so far so good. This looks good. I mean, just with this, just with these self tappers alone. I mean, it's good enough, but I'm, I'm still going to run bolts through these holes, you know. Oh yeah, it's not going anywhere. So this is just with sail tappers. I'm just going to go ahead and put the tire on. looks good that's good
okay so this is how it looks so far I already got cover ordered so I'm gonna put a protective cover on it too okay so the uh, spare tire mount is secured I just use these uh, carriage bolts so it can drive right over them they feel almost flat there's one there's another one this one's almost flash with the plywood I kind of sunk it in and uh, so is this one I don't know almost overdid it tightening the knot you know kind of sunk into a plywood but not too bad so that's uh, all you see here on the back of the uh, ramp door is just these four uh, bolt heads and they're pretty rounded so you can drive right over them and let's uh, let's close the ramp door Okay, so this is a finished product. These holes right here, I filled them with silicone or polyurethane actually, and just uh, touched it up with a spray paint. Also, I ran a bead of uh, clear silicone just on top, just for extra precaution. You know, I uh, put that double-sided tape in between uh, the wall and the mount. Plus I squirted a little bit of silicone, you know, inside where the threaded part is for the bolt. But this is just for extra precaution so no water gets inside but yeah this is what it looks like So these uh, nuts are the same size as uh, stabilizing jacks so I can just use this tool with a socket already attached to it, it's 19 millimeter, to uh, take the spare on or put it back on. these knots are self-locking they have that nylon ring in it so this is what it looks like just got to put a cover back over it so I got this uh, spare tire cover from Amazon it was about 16 bucks now let's see how it fits I just got a plain one you know they have different design ones but in the meanwhile, I thought this is gonna work. Hmm. Just got this bungee cord. So here we go, this is the finished product with the cover on, it doesn't look too bad, kind of wrinkled right now but I'm sure uh, the sun will, will get rid of these wrinkles, so it doesn't look too bad. This is the view from the back. Yeah, that's what it looks like.